Hello and welcome to Perfection Cat Grooming. Today we are going to be doing a very basic groom on this beauty here. Um, she's very well behaved because she's been coming on a regular basis since she was a kitten. She's a pretty easy groom because she maintains her coat well and her owners maintain her at home. So first we're going to start off by trimming all of her nails before we get her into the bath. You can see she's a very good girl. She does get pretty curious though and would love to get down and play with the shop cat. So sometimes we do have to hold on to her a bit. The stainless steel table does make it harder for the cats to scurry away as they have a hard time gripping so that is very helpful we get her into our small sized bath it is specifically small so that the cats don't feel so overwhelmed in a large dog bath we don't groom dogs here so we don't need a large bath the small one does just fine we did put the noose around her but please don't we don't put the noose around their neck we put it around their body underneath their arms you will see the bather scruff her from time to time this is a perfectly safe and acceptable handling technique with cats as long as you know how to do it properly it does not hurt them and they are very used to being scruffed as in their mother would scruff them as a kitten we use nice warm water and we never wash their face cats um, don't always love the water but they really hate it when you wash their face you want to make sure you don't get any shampoo in their eyes so for the most part we just don't wash their face at all and we will use a facial wipe on their face afterwards to clean their eyes and get any dirt and smell off of their face but just not getting their face wet helps them to be a lot more relaxed and compliant with bath time For shampoo, we use the Chubbs bars. They smell amazing. They're an amazing degreaser and they're super easy and convenient to use since they are in bar form. They leave the cat's coat super soft and silky and shiny and just super, super clean. You can see she's very talkative today. You can see that we did decide to take the noose off of her. She was just a bit more comfortable when she was able to be more mobile. This is the case for a lot of cats. Um, if they don't need to be noosed because they're not going to continue to try and scramble out of the bath, we'll often take it off as once they feel more free, they're a little bit more comfortable with what's going on. Once she is thoroughly rinsed, we'll lift her up, drip her, drip her off a little bit, and then wrap them in a nice cozy towel. When you're gonna transport them across the room, you could just carry her across the room wet, but she's gonna feel very exposed. It's gonna make her anxious. So wrapping her up in a nice cozy towel just makes her a little bit more comfortable and she's gonna be much less anxious throughout the rest of her groom. So now we've put her in our caddy shack there. And the caddy shack is just a enclosed space where the cat can sit while she's getting dried. They feel much more safe in here um, because it's not a big open space. Cats do like confined spaces. They often tuck themselves into the corner because again, it feels safe. The Caddy Shack vac also has a vacuum on it so it is sucking the hair out and into the vacuum compartment while we're blow drying so it keeps the shop a lot cleaner. Inside the Caddy Shack vac, the cat is also able to maneuver herself around, move, and feel a little bit more free. So not being confined or noosed to a table, again, just really reduces anxiety. And when you're grooming cats, reducing anxiety is very important in having a successful groom and not having to use many holding techniques or any air muzzles or anything like that. Now you do have to watch with the Caddy Shack vac. Um, sometimes the cats will discover the armholes where um, you put your arms in and notice that they are an escape route. So if the cats notice the escape route, um, yep, that's what happens. And once that happens, sometimes they get a little bit uh, more anxious because they realize now that there's a way out. But again, scruffing in the appropriate way and just handling the cat will help them calm back down. So here we are just giving her brush out. 
the tugging that you see, we're not pulling hard. It's simply pulling on the loose undercoat that is underneath her hair. We have the assistant holding her head in her paws just because she likes to wiggle. It's much safer for her and for the groomer so that she won't try and bite or hurt herself by trying to bite the comb or trying to jump off the table. And it just makes everything go a lot quicker. And the faster we can get done, the better for her and the better for us. She's quite good though, and she doesn't really mind being brushed out. And holding her is really just so that we can move things along pretty quickly and not have to constantly be pulling her back onto the table because she does like to try and jump off because she would just love to go play. Make sure you brush under all the armpits, under the in between the legs, the top side of the tail, the bottom side of the tail. There's lots of little areas that you can forget if you are not careful. And there we go. She's uh, pretty much done now or didn't get a clip of it, but we do also clean out her eyes before she goes home. And uh, yeah, she's all clean and fresh and ready to uh, see her parents again. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. We are Perfection Cat Grooming and like and subscribe to see all of our upcoming grooms and uh, see you next time.